Hey everybody, thanks for watching and welcome to part 3 of the Creepy Smoky Logo tutorial. So last tutorial we learned how to make our smoke and this tutorial we're gonna learn how to apply the smoke to our text. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that the, the text is underneath the fractal noise and we're gonna right click on the, on the text and we're gonna create masks from text and it turns off the um, the text and then it creates outlines here if I can turn on this you can see it created masks I'm gonna pull this down below the fractal noise here we're going to click on the toggle switches and modes button and we're going to set we're going to change the track mat here to alpha mat so that didn't work obviously so I'm gonna put that back onto no I'm gonna put the uh, outlines above the fractal and then change the fractal to alpha mat and we're going to turn on a fractal noise. I didn't realize that I turned the eye off by accident but there we go. Now as you can see the smoke is flowing through the back there. Now I like to have my smoke a cooler color there so click on your fractal noise and go to effect, color correction, hue, saturation and come down to this box right here check colorize and then we can colorize this so it looks cool yeah, I like this color it's at 192 so I'll do a ramp review for you quick and this ramp review might take a second apparently so I'll pause it and then come back when the ramp review is done so the render is complete. Let's uh, see what it looks like. And the smoke is going nicely across the background and it actually looks like it's uh, smoky back there. So I'm going to stop the preview and you might want to save it. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, we'll go back into our main comp here and you can see that the title is on there and it's, it's uh, looking cool so basically this composition right here was is this right here and that's our text so I want to make the text pop off the background a little more so I'm gonna create a layer for it to like brighten up a little bit but not be too overpowering. So let's create a, a new layer and it's going to be a solid and I'm just going to say call this behind make make sure it's the comp size and we'll make it this uh, blue blue color. Now I'm going to create a mask something like this. It's just going to be like kind of like a square that goes across the back. That should probably be good. It covers up the text. Now I'll set its opacity to 20 percent and we're gonna feather out this mask a little bit. Well actually a decent amount. 106 now let's adjust the mask so it looks a little nicer and not so like off center and everything like that so that seems pretty decent The last thing I want to do with this, because it's kind of like blended in with it, 
I'm going to set the uh, blending mode to add. So twirl down that stuff. Hit the toggle switches and modes button down here. Set our mode to add. And now it looks more like, I don't know, like kind of like a light. So it, it lit up our text a little and we made it like a blue light. Not like the beer, the black blue light, which I kind of want right now. But, so, the next thing we'll do is we'll make the smoke go, another like layer of smoke go across the front. So that it's more creepy. You need that so it looks really nice. So, we'll do that in part four. And I'm going to end this tutorial right now. See you guys in the next tutorial.